everybody and all the students out listening to me and I'm sure today all the engineers are going to join me, right? All the future engineers will be joining in because I'm going to do maths with you. So I want you to let me know how this video was and did I, did I speak up to what you really wanted to listen? Um, what are your challenges in maths? What's tricking you in maths? What's your toughest topic? But above all, I want to know a few things. I want to know why you're doing engineering. There has to be a calling inside you. That's why you're doing engineering. Write to me in the comment section. Let me see if your reason to do engineering is really inspiring. Uh, maybe that can be used as a motivation for many children. Now, I know I'm recording this uh, video without a mic and there were some comments which came last time bashing me saying that the sound quality was not good. Um, we are going to get mic for the next video but for this video again we're going to go without mic. So I'm sorry if the sound is not proper. Cool. So bear with me. Um, uh, my team has given me again, my, my executive producer and my assistant executive producer, Sunit and Aaron, has given me a list of things in coordination with the teachers. I'm going to read out all important topics. It may sound boring, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. You listen to it because these are the topics which are important. Not that I'm going to read all of them, but I'm going to read some of them which I feel uh, will have questions coming from these topics. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to discuss with you questions well, uh, we'll begin with algebra. There are many portions in algebra which are very big and there are many questions in So, I will keep some of you in front of you. Mark it and give it to you. And in topics, give it to you in front of you. Because it comes from this. If you look at past papers, it comes from this. So, uh, I'm going to read out some of these topics uh, for you. Uh, algebra of complex numbers, conjugation, polar representation, uh, properties of modulus and principal argument, triangle inequality. Then we have symmetric functions of roots, arithmetic, geometric, harmonic progressions. It's the sums, it's the means. बहुत क्वेश्चंस आता है इन इन टॉपिक्स के ऊपर एंड देन आप आगे देखो कि सेट्स थ्योरी एंड फंक्शंस कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस एंड उसका एक्सप्रेशंस प्रोग्रेशन लोगारिथमिक्स लॉग्स एंड देयर एक्सप्रेशंस परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन बाइनोमियल थ्योरम्स ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीग्रल इंडेक्स मैट्राइसिस डिटरमिनेंट्स प्रोबेबिलिटी so in algebra mein agar aap dekhoge to iske alawa bhi iske vipreet bhi kuch topics hai jo aap chhod sakta hai lekin in टॉपिक्स को नहीं छोड़ना क्योंकि इसके आधारित इसके ऊपर आधारित काफी सवाल कम्स काफी काफी कुछ आता है सो मेक श्योर यू पिक इट अप ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट्स वेरी इजी टू ग्रास्प इट स्पेशली आईआईटी स्टूडेंट्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्री इज योर एरिया बहुत सवाल आता है ट्रिग्नोमेट्री के ऊपर यू हैव टू नो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ट्रिग्नोमेट्री कंप्राइजेस ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस देयर पीरियोडिसिटी एंड ग्राफ्स uh, general equations, trigonometric general equations, inverse circular function. Uh, this topic had a lot of questions coming over the last years. Inverse, inverse, uh, inverse circular functions. That's the topic which had a lot of questions coming up. Relation between the sides and angles of a triangle, the sine rule, the cosine rule, the half angle formula, the area of a triangle, the inverse trigonometric functions. Uh, they really had some good questions. Uh, they're not difficult, they're easy and it's cute, but very In this portions of maths, uh, the main topics that are covered are trigonometric functions, multiple and sub-multiple angles, trigonometric equations, properties and solutions of triangles, inverse circular functions. So, so you, you know what it is, right? So when you look to a paper, you'll find there's a particular pattern. There are some types of questions which gets repeated, not all, and there are some type of questions which also gets ignored. You know what you should do, right? Pick up the ones which gets repeated and do something about it. Learn, practice. If you don't know, then revise it. Talk to people, talk to your teachers and mentors and really get going with it. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is coordinate geometry. You're ready with coordinate geometry, right? If you got to be an engineer and if you got to crack the engineering examination, you cannot ignore coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry becomes so, so freaking important for the IIT JE students. It's not just for the IIT JE students. Any damn entrance examination you're giving, which is for engineering, you have to get good marks with coordinate geometry because bohat questions are there. And I need not tell you, right, the importance of these topics even in physics or in the other topics that you will be having. 
Um, coordinate geometry is also very, very scoring in engineering entrance examination. This part is also important because it contains topics like parabola, calculus, graphs, and related problems. The Cartesian coordinate, which is the coordinate geometry which, which, is, which is having maximum scoring. Now, if you compare this with the other topics, you'll understand that this is more scoring. Um, our teachers get maximum doubts on these topics because Bachchaloka confidence is topic you hamesha hila dula rehta hai because they kind of tend to ignore this do not ignore this do not ignore this uh, it contains topics like straight line circle parabola ellipse hyperbola and 3d geometry so that brings us to differentiation differential calculus is an imperative part of maths you cannot imagine maths without differentiation and I also understand that in the early schooling days this topic was not even introduced to you that is why it becomes more interesting and more important that you do it because it's later on or somehow linked to a lot of things including physical chemistry or even physics physics of course it's, it's linked in, in a lot many ways limits continuity differentiability fetches direct questions you know, see the questions out there without much thinking on on these topics um, um, you, you know our teachers like Akshay sir or uh, Jeet sir or Pratik sir the way they make it interesting, the way they make you guess out these problems to the children is so interesting sometimes. And, and there are two types of children like always, you know, one who really want to be an engineer and one who just enrolls in a class and who knows what happens to them. If you're willing to go through the stride and if you're willing to work that hard, if you're willing to practice these questions and sweat through these questions, if you're willing to really sit, not get frustrated when you get the answer wrong and if you're willing to really, really if you're willing to do it all over again when you make a mistake, then I think uh, you strike through the engineering college, the engineering examination. It's not about being an engineer. It's not about being that. It's about being an engineer from the right college. College matters because that's what placement is about. That's what reputation is about. That's what your network is about. So it's pointless if you just get into some ABC engineering college. It's when you get into the right engineering college. So it's not about the course. It's about the institution that's going to make you what is going to make you. So to understand the subject in a better way, the team really works hard. And that's what you have to do. You have to work hard. Write down the questions. You may have a thousand questions between integration and differentiation, that particular chapter. Out of a thousand questions, there may be a hundred questions which are tricked, which you're, which you're finding confusing or difficult. Write practice solve over and over and over again you know the topics like limits and continuity and differentiability differentiation or trigonometric equation application of derivatives tangents and normals and maxima and minima do it all i'm telling you you cannot miss this you cannot miss this because if you miss this you miss math you miss math you miss physics over here so physics is going to be sweating if your maths is weak you know how they're interlinked so Wish you a good engineering life and, and only that you can get in there is when you solve your foundation and your basis right, right? This is my favorite topic. This is my favorite topic. When I was a student, um, I remember the teacher who taught me this and I'm going to take the teacher's name. It was Professor Rapit Pirani, one of the star teachers of Bombay, you know. I was fortunate to have learned this chapter under Professor R.P. Uh, Rafik Pirani sir and sir made integration so damn exciting. I can still remember after finishing chemistry and all the years of chemistry and teaching chemistry and writing a book on chemistry. I still remember integration and, and I'm sure if you give me a question I'll be able to do something of integration. You need to have a good teacher. So you cannot go wrong with integration. You cannot go wrong with integration. Why you can't go wrong with integration? Because integration will go wrong with you then. You cannot mess with integration because it's a backbone. Again, it comes in physics and chemistry and all over the places. Integral calculus is very important in terms of marks. And I have understood this by talking to children that children who score well in JEE or IIT are children who have this topic in their control. If you want to score great in your engineering examination, you better be scoring great in integration. So if integration is making you sweat, scarier, then all you need to be doing is go befriend the right teacher. I hope you get some good teacher like the teachers that I have got during my schooling days. Go to a teacher, befriend the teacher, talk to the teacher, tell the teacher what's your challenge. Once you tell this to your teacher, I am telling you, Every teacher is willing to step ahead and put your hand around your shoulders and help you walk you through because no teacher succeeds until you succeed.
it's very important that you succeed if I have to succeed in my life my career is dependent on your career this is what every teacher will tell you but but if you don't go and be open with the teacher and if you don't go and practice the topics that's tough then how do you think a teacher is going to help you comfort you and solve this for you so the topics which are very important will be indefinite integral definite areas um, area under curves differential equations I'm saying pick up a question paper you can ask me if you want some question papers there are some complimentary question papers if you read the description there are links over there there are also some paid question papers see if you need these question papers to practice these topics and chapters which are challenging you can just solve as many as you want as many as you want there are 10 complimentary question papers given to you you can just follow the link and just pick up those 10 complimentary question papers inverse trigonometric functions circles and family of circles sequence and series are some more important topic now these four topics are important and easy and you should use them to your advantage to increase your JE math score you should use them to increase your score do not make silly mistakes um, from these questions and I'm reading out these questions so be ready for them application of derivatives uh, limits and continuity matrices and determinants straight line and straight pair lines now, well, the next segment that I'm talking to you about is the seven topics which are absolutely important for JE. As it is, you can expect questions and, and uh, these questions come straight. Every year you had direct questions from, from these two to three questions come from this topic and they're very important. 3D geometry, questions from this topic are generally straightforward questions so you can solve them easily simply by reading the question. Probability and statistics vector algebra integration here comes the definite and the and the indefinite integration complex numbers and parabola uh, you have direct questions coming over there and also from trigonometric ratios these seven topics do not miss them because you definitely get minimum three questions from these seven topics and finally here's a list of the topic that you should study at least once and try to create a cheat sheet uh, try to create a flashcard or a mind map that will help you revise the formulas over and over again so that you can expect and you know that you can expect at least four questions minimum direct indirect or shuffling that is logarithms uh, quadratic equations, theory of equations, sets, relations, and functions, differentiation, permutation, combination. You should be able to study this properly as the concepts from this section will need probability. Binomial theorem, locus, hyperbola, ellipse, fundamentals of maths, and solutions of triangles. By an average number of questions asked in the previous year's JEE main and the advanced paper, um, I say that. Uh, Coordinate geometry has seven questions which was asked. Coordinate geometry has seven questions. And every year that's the kind of questions that come from there. Continuity and differentiability and limits have three questions. So you, you decide which one you want to pick up. And I would say everything. Complex numbers, quadratic equations had three questions. Integral calculus had three questions. Sequence and series had two questions. And this happens every year, okay? That's a trend. Trigonometry had two questions. Circle and conics had four questions. That's very, very important. You cannot miss this. I feel if you do integration and circle and conics, you should be getting at least 30 marks from this trade. Don't get anything wrong. Practice is the mother of success. Practice, bloody practice and sweat in that practice. I want to know how did you like this. And, and when you're writing the comment, also write down the state from where you are uh, you're, you're, you're writing. And I'm, I'm very happy that students are accessing me. They're writing down their concerns and their challenges and they're putting in messages and they're telling me I'm liking this. Uh, I'm happy that I'm able to help most children deal with their counseling issues or whatever challenges they have. But do mention from which part of the country you are. It's nice getting connected with you in so many different ways. I hope this video made sense to you. I hope maths is going to be a little more easier uh, for you. I hope you're going to practice well. I hope you become an engineer at some day in your life and soon some day in your life. And when you come and you meet me, you talk to me, you write to me and tell me how proud you are being an engineer and how you're going to change the face of this country and your own career and your own life for your own wealth and for your own social equities. I'm going to see you soon with another video. Up until that time, my team, the entire team and I would say bye to you. Take care. Good luck. All the best.